What's going on everyone, it's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, we're taking a look at a brand new Windows emulator for Android called WinLater OMOD. It's an open source fork of the original WinLater, but this one comes with an optimized performance, better compatibility, and new features that make it easier to run Windows games and apps on Android. Here in the name OMOD actually stands for Optimized Module of the WinLater, and the developer behind it claims we can expect two to five times better performance compared to the standard version. That's really good. So in this video, I'll not only show you how to install it, but also test this emulator to see if it really lives up to the hype. Anyway, now let's go to the releases. Currently, version 10.12 is the latest, with the Glibc OMOD build, which was dropped just a few days ago. It brings some crucial fixes, improved save data handling, and a more stable experience overall. In this update, they updated the Box64 environment variables and DX wrapper. One more good thing about this emulator is that it's merged with a custom-built rootfs system, which improves overall compatibility and performance. The installation and setup process are the same as usual. Also, the phone I'm currently using is the Poco F6, powered by the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3, with the Adreno 735 GPU, its 12 GB RAM version. So anyway, I'll close everything. Now let's open WinLater OMOD. The process is the same as always. Go to setting set box 64 version to 0.3.4 or 0.3.5 and set the preset to performance mode. That's it. Now save the settings. Next, create a new container. Set screen resolution to 720p or your preferred resolution. Set the graphics driver to turnip. I'll leave it at the default version 25, which is currently the best and most stable driver. Set the DXVK version based on the game you're going to run. Everything else stays the same as we've done in our recent videos. Leave environment variables at default. Go to advanced. Select Windows 10 version. And enable all CPU cores in Affinity. Also, make sure to enable aggressive mode in startup. As you can see, there's a new loading animation. All right, it's booted. Now let's first check out the direct 3D test. It works perfectly fine. And if we check out the other 3D tests, they're working fine without any issues too. Just like in the Frost version, you'll find a lot of custom tweak options and features here. You can install drivers, make modifications, and do a lot more. All right, guys. Now it's time for the real test to see how well it performs in real time. In this video, I'm going to test NFS Payback, a pretty demanding title. As usual, I'll create a shortcut and then close it. All right, so the shortcut has been created. You can set custom settings from here. I've also connected my game controller. As usual, go to controller settings, select the connected controller and bind the keys, that's it. Now let's go to game settings. Screen resolution is set to 720p, turn up driver version 25 and DXVK version 2.4.1. So yeah, those are the settings for this game. All right, now I'll turn off Wi-Fi and enable ultimate mode for better performance. Let's load it up.
So that wraps it up for WinLater OMOD. The new features, better performance, and smooth gameplay really take things up a notch. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to us for more, and thanks for watching! I'll see you in the next video.